Verse of the Day All mankind will fear, they will proclaim the works of God and ponder what He has done. Psalm 64 verse 9 Thought of the Day We try by every method devised by religion to relieve our fears and heal our hidden sadness, but with all our efforts we remain unhappy still, with the settled despair of men alone in a vast and deserted universe. In my creature impatience I am often caused to wish that there were some way to bring modern Christians into a deeper spiritual life painlessly by short easy lessons, but such wishes are vain. No shortcut exists. God has not bowed to our nervous haste nor embraced the methods of our machine age. It is well that we accept the hard truth now, the man who would know God must give time to him. He must count no time wasted that is spent in the cultivation of his acquaintance. He must give himself to meditation and prayer hours on end. So did the saints of old, the glorious company of the apostles, the goodly fellowship of the prophets and the believing members of the holy church in all generations. And so must we if we would follow in their train. We would think of God, then, as maintaining the unity of His uncreated being throughout all His works in His years, as ever saying not only, I did, and, I will do, but also, I do, and, I am doing. A robust faith requires that we grasp this truth firmly, yet we know how seldom such a thought enters our minds. We habitually stand in our now and look back by faith to see the past filled with God. We look forward and see Him inhabiting our future but our now is uninhabited except for ourselves. Thus we are guilty of a kind of pro-tem atheism that leaves us alone in the universe while, for the time, God is not. We talk of Him much and loudly, but we secretly think of Him as being absent, and we think of ourselves as inhabiting a parenthetic interval between the God who was and the God who will be. And we are lonely with an ancient and cosmic loneliness. We are each like a little child lost in a crowded market, who has strayed but a few feet from its mother, yet because she cannot be seen, the child is inconsolable. So we try by every method devised by religion to relieve our fears and heal our hidden sadness, but with all our efforts we remain unhappy still, with the settled despair of men alone in a vast and deserted universe. Prayer of the Day Father, come and inhabit our now. Amen.